pressure is defined as force on an unit area. We all know that everything with mass exert force due to gravity. For example, as you are sitting on chair, you are exerting a certain amount of force on chair because of your weight. In this video, we will learn about force exerted by atmosphere and liquids. We all know that atmosphere contains different type of gas particles and these particles move around freely. Once these particles strike a surface, they exert some pressure. This pressure is called atmospheric pressure. As we move away from ground, amount of gas reduces and thus atmospheric pressure also decreases. Like other pressure, SI unit of atmospheric pressure is Newton per meter square. In case of atmospheric pressure, SI unit is also called Pascal. Atmospheric pressure is measured with the help of barometer. In a barometer, the height of the mercury column denotes the atmospheric pressure at that place at a given time in millimeter of mercury. At sea level, the height of the mercury column is around 76 centimeters or 760 millimeters. This pressure is also called one atmospheric pressure or 180 m. Now let's learn about pressure caused by liquids. We have already studied that in liquids too, there is movement of particles. Most of the pressure that a liquid exert is because of its weight. When water is stored in a container, Pressure is not only applied in downward direction but also in sideways. Pressure on side walls are mostly applied by particle movement. And downward pressure is mostly caused by weight of water. Since liquid particles are loosely attracted, they react to pressure easily. On applying force, they move from high pressure to less pressure region. This property of liquid make them useful in measuring the pressure difference of two regions. Instrument used to measure the difference in the liquid pressure is called a manometer. Let's take a U-shaped tube and fill it with water. In the beginning since pressure is same at both the ends, water level will be same. Now apply some pressure on one side, you will see the water level on right side will rise. By measuring the height difference between two ends, additional pressure exerted can be calculated easily.